Good morning. Happy holidays and enjoy the weather. Uh, reading the book of words. Figure out what's good. It's always good to uh, read inspirational quotes by ancestors, people that suffered, people that had a mind, a great mind that any type of anger or emotion and any troubles in the world, you know, they still proceed to give people <clears throat> good, powerful word, words to move on. Reading is good. A lot of people don't read that. The world is getting, the world is changing so fast. People are starting to be lazy. They don't even want to work no more. Everybody, everything is getting handed to them. You don't even read no more. Computer, read it to them. Um, that's why people are starting to be dumb and, you know, doing all crazy stuff because they got so much free time to their hand. What happened to all those days when you work with your hand? Um, every day's a struggle. Struggle is real. Hi, wife. I want you to show your face. This is my wife. <clears throat> um... <clears throat> I was trying to figure out how to express ourselves and how to probably help people in the world somehow in the words. But you know what? I was reading a book and I'm trying to understand this, all right, in the Bible. What I was trying to get at is the world is changing. Every culture is different now. <clears throat> the millennial, whatever, that should not affect you. Um, I'm going to read a verse in the Bible. I pick and choose a verse, but in the understanding, uh, in my understanding of my higher power, I take what is good. I soak in what's good and only control what's going to happen for today because tomorrow's never promised. The past, I'm not trying to make my past hunt, hunt me, you know, because the past is the past. You cannot change everything. Okay, in this Bible, I had this in jail, prison. Everybody can get a Bible anywhere. Uh, 1 John, chapter 4. That's how you say it, right? Chapter and verse. Chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he has, than he that is in the world. There, they are of the world, therefore speak of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth, heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error beloved let us love one another for love is god <laughs> hatred is a powerful thing boy i'm telling you i've been trying to tell that to my wife that let it go because it's hard it's really hard when somebody mess with your emotion ain't it <laughs> okay uh, beloved let us <coughs> let us love one another for love is God. Love is, love is of God, okay? And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth, wait, he that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Look, there's a lot of things in this world that, like I said, now these days in this world that can easily distract you for your teaching. That There's a lot of parents now this day that doesn't teach old school ways, okay? Uh... Like I said, there's a lot of people doesn't have no respect no more. People are running around like a chicken with a loose head. Um, I keep telling my wife I am cursed with happiness, forgiveness, love, and joy. And I believe in my higher power. My God helps me through go to go through things every day day 
everybody keep say, get, got their belief and everybody got their way of thinking of God, but you can actually, you don't even really have to go to church. Why won't you meditate and pray for yourself? Because he will hear you. Always, it's always good to have a higher power. And I ignored him. I used to be a soldier for the devil. I run the streets night and day. I did a lot of stuff that is unacceptable to society, to God's high eyes. Um, how many of you got labeled as a menace to society? I know one. My buddy Jody got met. You know, I was a menace to society in California. They kicked me out. Um, I, I lost my way in the world got lost I got deep into drugs I mean it didn't help that I had a disease and an addiction you know everybody is born differently everybody go through life differently but you can control it honestly you could control it alright if you believe in yourself nobody's gonna take care of you but you I mean it's not in a bad way I'm saying you have a choice. You're a human being. You got your own mind. You ain't dumb. You ain't retarded. You ain't lost. You know? You stop throwing a pity party like, Oh, everybody hates me. Oh, nobody want to help me. See, that's what's wrong with the world now this day. They don't know how to grind. They don't know what hard work is. They don't know what life is. They want everything handed to them. And it's not... It's not cool. And they keep saying that it's not fair he has this. Because we work hard for them, sucker. You know? I mean, damn. Come on. I Ever since I've been to America, I always, like, joke around. I go, a lot of American people are lazy. Because they, they want everything handed for them. Government giving them money. And then they don't even work no more. They're always trying to come up. They're always trying to scheme about something. You know? And... There's a lot of things, if you focus and look around, there's a lot of things that miracle of your higher power be doing. Like when I, was, uh, when I went to detox and I sober up, my wife told me that she'd be praying and she fasting. There's a couple of old people just came in from out of nowhere. What did they say? They told me that um, if I would just give the battle over to God, he'd take care of it and fight it for me. How many times did you guys hear that? I know I heard that so many times. I prayed and prayed. I go, by, uh, my, my God, please, take over. Be the driver. Let me watch and relax this time. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to fight you no more. You know, help me out. You know what he told me? I will help you out if you let me. What do you mean? I'm trying. Help me out. I will help you out if you knock. If, I knock, if, he, if he knock and I open the door. But he been knocking and I haven't been opening the door. I went, I've been opening the back door. Because I'm always scheming about something. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. A lot of people know this too. Um, <laughs> a lot of people go to jail and, 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 and prison. They start to become a Bible thumper. People that knows what that means, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then when they come out, they lost their ways. I mean, because like I said, this world is so much filth and so much rage. Um, anything can trigger you if you let it control you. You know, I mean, if a person hurts you really bad, don't let them control your world because your thinking your decision making everything that you're trying to learn to succeed in life is chaotic is blurry and you make sudden decision that is not cool start blaming on stuff you know I mean my wife is helping out helping me with my addiction and she start going to this meeting but I always I tell her look it's just like the Bible pick and choose the word that will help you don't get too involved with things that doesn't even you know that you're not even endorse you I mean 
every life, everybody's life is different. Everybody go through different stuff. But do not let that tear you down. You know, you can only control you. You can do it day at a time. Um, I'm controlling myself. It's a battle. Somebody told me like, now I decided to be sober and clean and sober. It's going to get harder before it gets better. And guess what my project is going to get harder, but I got my every day. I'm ready for it. Ask my wife. Every time there's a problem, I'm so calm and collective. Sometimes she feels butthurt because she thinks that I don't protect her or I let people yell at her. But it's not that. I mean, I am controlling the situation. Because two wrongs doesn't make a right. You guys heard that word before, right? There's a lot of old saying that is true, you know? I mean, people struggling every day, like I said. But if you keep, in, keep your head strong, your heart right, you know, just because 20,000 people hurt you doesn't mean you're going to be bitter. I don't want to be a bitter old man. Holy crap. A lot of people helped me when I was young. I was living in the street. I'm a freaking orphan. My dad locked me up when I was freaking seven years old in a third world country in the Philippines. You know, I hated my dad. I want to kill him. And all that anger that I had just made me bitter. Made me do more dumb shit. Sorry about my language. But this is rated PG. No, rated R, not PG. <laughs> PG is not good, right? I mean, it's for kids. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I learned how to let go. A lot of people, look, there's things people were telling you, like little words here, little word there, and then later on, hey, that sucker was right. I mean, why didn't, why? I mean, when I, when I went to detox, I go, this counselor, Ben, told me the same thing freaking word but in a different way you know he said you're trying to learn acceptance I go I told you I'm trying to do the steps and stuff that acceptance and stuff I'm trying to accept things all my life it looks like that's not the right word for you how about try let go I try and let it go I go what that's new wait hold on that's not new somebody told me that before I, and then I was asking people why the hell did I listen to him and I didn't listen to anybody else because my heart is unclear. My mind is still clouded. My mind is still trying to hustle things. My mind is still trying to get over one. <laughs> I'm trying to get over a bunch of stuff. You know, like, I think I can get away with this. I think I can get away with that. I think I can do this. I think I can do that. But you know, dang well, nothing in the darkness will never, it, it will, you know, will ever hide because the light is always going to show. All your dumb stuff that you're doing right now will catch up on you. I did a lot of dumb stuff. Guess what? It will catch up on me. Little by little. I'm not going to retaliate. You know, I've been fed by the, uh, to the wolves, but I'm still alive. I'm scarred up. But I learned something. I learned a valuable lesson. The devil ain't going to get me. He will break you down and do all kinds of stuff to your body, to your mind, to your soul. Just to get you stuck on the hell hole you've been to. Uh, and there's another word. Well, you guys know what uh, insanity is, right? Insane, insanity. A lot of people. Hello. You guys stuck in the same circle, right? Because you guys are insane. You guys are not even thinking. You want to get out of the freaking hole? Stop for one second. Stop. Just stop everything. What the hell is going on? What is wrong? What, what is not working? What is not working for you? Why are you still stuck in that same hole, same ditch? You're digging your damn grave. I dug, I dug my damn grave. I've been digging my damn grave. I didn't, I'm not even scared to die. You know? But now, I'm free. I feel like, take me. You know, I mean, in a different way. I'm not scared to die, but damn. I'm sure now that I am going to be saved. And I'm... From now, from now, I'm trying to better myself, help people, and I'm trying to tell my wife, look, we got hurt. That doesn't mean we don't have to stop helping people. I mean, in every bunch of group, there's always a bad seed. Now, if you don't 
if you let that bad seed grow on you, it will affect the whole freaking group. You need to cut it down. Try not to find, try to find out. I mean, I always run away on problems, but this time I'm going to go head on. Not in a bad way. Like I said, if I cannot control it, I let my higher power take over. And I got my support right there. Me and my wife be bumping head a lot. And we still learning. But I told her to just take it one day at a time. I am proud and support all the grateful addicts out there that is struggling every day, struggling hard, being in the same situation. You feel like you're, you don't have no way out, that you are just stuck in the prison that you created. <laughs> But then wake up, girl, girl or boy, wake up, man. That ain't true. That ain't true. I came all the way from the island and made it all the way over here in the United States. You know, not knowing anything. But the time is wisdom, though. Listen. Somebody told me listening is good if you really listen. Ah, when everybody started to talk to me. I always like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, people are still talking. I'm like, I already got an answer for it. I already have a backup answer and I already want to say something. You know why? Because my dumb ass thinks I know everything. But I don't. I don't, I'm trying to learn how to listen. I'm trying to learn how to be patient. And trying to learn how to enjoy love. I need to fix myself because if I don't fix myself, I will drag everybody that's behind me. And if you think you don't have nobody behind you, you're wrong. You are wrong. There's somebody out there that cares about you. I mean, there is people that I don't even know that cares about me, that I, even, I don't even talk to. I met them once in my life. And they care about me. I mean, they say something, you know, even though, even though they even bull crapping, like, you know, they care, you know. Um, the reason why I'm trying to start this thing right now, because I want to enjoy love. I want to enjoy happiness. I want to enjoy my life. I want to live free. I want to be how he created me to be. Everybody call me happy. I got ADHD. Uh, through all the stuff that I've been through in life, I still have my mind intact. Um, I'll be struggling, but you can't kill the smile. <laughs> uh, my higher power created me for a reason, and I am not even... You know that old saying, why are you trying to figure a woman out because she will never do it? Don't figure out who your higher power is. Don't figure out what, you, what is your purpose in life because... He's, he's, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. You, you need to start focusing on what you need to do today to better your life. Instead of trying to figure out things that you don't even know about or you don't even have control about. Okay? I mean, sure, there's a lot of judgmental people out there. Uh, the media and all that, all this stuff now today making the word the kids worse filthy mouth bad teaching um bad resources um people are not even healthy no more no and i know i'm talking a lot but i just want to tell you guys that believe in something believe on the powerful word if you guys know how to love before you never lost it. It's still in you. Yeah, you guys ever cared before. You never lost it. It's still in you. You know, just don't let your emotion, your hatred, the bad, bad, bad feeling control you because one, the bad, some of the bad emotion will just drag you down in life. Baby, do you want to add on something to this? Come on, baby. Say a good word. To all the women out there, 
Tell them how you're being. Come on, be real with them. Tell them how it is, life with an addict, like me. Just be real. Be real, babe. Life is hard with an addict. Um, you know, you start out believing that you can make a difference, that, um, you know, if you do this enough or you do that enough, that you can help them through their addiction and make them see that they are a better person than the life they're living. But um, Leo and I have been through rehab probably a dozen times in the two and a half years that we've been married. And, uh, it gets harder every time mm -hmm. because you start to lose a little bit of the faith that you had. Um, like now, Leo's back to being the person he was when I first met him. When I met him, he was clean and sober. I didn't, I never saw him high until after I was already in a serious relationship with him. And um, it's probably a good thing I didn't. But uh, he's back to being that person. He's goofy and happy and and as bad as I hate to say it, I'm over here waiting for the other shoe to drop. What shoe? Shoes or shoes with the S? Go ahead, baby. I'm sorry. It's, it's not. It's not easy being in a relationship with an addict, and yeah, I, I'm starting Al Anon because I just feel like unless you've been where I'm at. You can't understand what I'm going through, you know. And I know that there are people that mean well, and you know, try to give you an encouraging word, but they don't realize that they're just making it worse. Um, you got to have really tough skin. To yeah, to deal with me. To continue in a relationship with an addict. Uh, you got to have discernment because you got to know what is the person talking and what is the drugs. And sometimes that's not always clear. Can you say so? mm -hmm. When I'm high, when I'm mad, I say some terrible things and I hurt people bad because I'm not myself the demon in me comes out I'm in <clears throat> I wish you got it on video but just to see your, myself how I act but. in the beginning when he was mean like that he would only do it when it was just me and him but as time has progressed um, this last time he didn't care who was around he didn't care who saw, who heard he didn't care and so I knew that it was getting so much worse and I mean I, I tried to talk to him about you know don't, don't talk to me like that in public don't yell at me stop screaming at me and <laughs> He would be screaming at me and screaming, I'm not screaming at you. Nah. And you're like. But the reason I don't video those episodes is because I don't want to remember them. You know. I know that. Yeah. Things that he has said and done have affected me. But eventually. I'll be able to let all that go may not be right now. I'm still very hurt. You need fifty dollars to go. Shut up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I still believe 
that he's worth it. And I've put everything that I have and everything that I am into that belief. Yes, baby, I'm worth it. Let it go, let it go. The sun will shine anyways. But these people that swear they're his friends and then they verbally attack me and I'm the one that's sitting here trying to help him, you know, yeah, I'm angry at you. I hope your life is as hellish as mine has been. I know that's ugly. I know it is. But those people did not help. They hurt. Here I am with the weight of the world on my shoulders and they're kicking me when I'm down. And I'm the only one that's holding his head above water. You know, I don't care, I don't care if you're my blood relative or his blood relative. You didn't help the situation, and I don't have no room for you in my life. None. I gotta keep moving. I'm just kidding. Baby, word of the day. Word of the day, Holmes. Let go, please, let go of things that you cannot control. Tell me, baby. I am sorry that I put my wife through a lot of hell. And I'm not the only one that putting their spouses or their husband or whatever in hell right now. There's a lot of struggling addicts out there. A lot. Um, if you are seriously out of control about your addiction, seek help, please. Freaking turn yourself into a detox center. I even know detox center. I've seen people that turn themselves into a detox center that... Eh, First thing they talk about is, have you ever swim on a 50 gallon of methamphetamine? I'm like, aren't you supposed to be on detox? All they think about is drugs. All they think about is the next high. It got worse. I mean, when I was in California, I never seen people shooting dope. When I got over here, oh my God, in North Carolina, like every corner that I turned to in the streets, people shooting dope, people got track mark everywhere. It's getting out of hand. It's a disease, guys. Like I said, the only thing I can come up with, addiction is a disease that has no prescription, nor prediction in life. It, could, it confuses and delusionize your thinking under the circumstances of every day's battle in life. You know, you choose and pick your battle. That's the way you win it. But if you just go in without a plan, as my baby says, your life is gonna be like, oops, that's no longer an option. You need to learn how to battle it right. You need to seek advice if you, <laughs> if you're really serious about it, you know, I mean, I've been telling my wife, I've been to NAAA, I've been locked up so many times, you know, I spent half of my life in prison, maybe more, in jail, and if I really wanted to, to quit, you know, I would have done it a long time ago, but I didn't, but now it's just like, dang, man. Look at me now. I, I'm little by little. I'm, I did quit. Like now, I'm, I'm, I want to quit. I want to quit. I want to do it to myself. Because look what I made. With this hand, man. Cops broke my freaking hand because of my dumb ass drug run. You know? I got a broken hand, but God, my God, oh my God, fixed it. This is my money maker. This is my art. This is my life. I got broken shoulder when I got over here. Um, it's a lot of things. Not putting on the blame on anybody or anything but myself. I love to I love to enjoy life now. I love life. I scarred a lot of people. Please forgive me. If you don't want to accept that, please forgive me anyways. Um I hope all of you guys are strong and all of you guys seek peace 
Love people, peace, man, peace. It's hard to find the peace that you're looking for if you're not willing to look for it. Baby, I love you. Word of the day, let it go, let it go. We love you.